Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Ninja 12 Cup Programmable Brewer. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. So I picked this up at Target for $69.99. They had a little holiday deal going on. Normally, I believe the price is $79.99, but as of mid-December 2022, that's what I paid for it. Also, there's a 14 cup version of this. Um, I'll be covering that as we move forward, but for today, we're just going to have a look at the 12 cup version. We're going to have a look inside and around. That's a nice shower head. That reminds me of the Cuisinart model. And with this unit, you have a filter basket that it comes with. You could also use the cone style filters if you like, if you don't want to use this, but it's neat. Comes with one of those. And we have the removable filter basket. We also have the removable water reservoir. Lid pops off. You have the water level indicator in the front. And this pops off so you could fill it. A little bit of an odd shape, sort of like an L shape. When it's filled with water, it's a little awkward to handle. You got these two gr good grips though. And on the left side of the unit, you have a little scoop, measuring scoop. It's equal to um, one tablespoon. And we'll take a look at the carafe. Nice thick glass. But you'll notice something's missing. Could you guess what it is? Yeah, there's no cup level indicator. This is one of the first coffee makers I've done, at least on this channel, that I've that had that didn't have that. That's pretty weird, but it does have a removable lid that twists off so you can clean it easily. And there's a look at your control panel. I'll be going into more detail with this in just a moment. And just a final point I want to make is that it's 14 and a quarter inches high. 21 inches with the lid open. Okay, so I went ahead and I filled it up to the 12 cup mark. We're going to be doing a full pot. I also put in 12 scoops of ground coffee. And now I'm going to show you guys how to set the clock and the programmable timer, as well as going over some of the other features on the control panel. So when you plug it in, it's going to flash 12 o'clock. And the first thing you want to do is head over to the hour and minute button and set the current time. So in this example, let's just say 3.15 p.m. And, and if it stops flashing, just hit either the hour or minute button again, and it'll start flashing again. And we'll set the time. We're going to go to 3.15. Head over to the minute button. You hold it in, it scrolls quicker. 3.15. And when it stops flashing, the current time is set. And also, just keep note of the AM and PM indicator as well. Right now we're in PM. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to set the programmable timer. And it's the same way you would set the current time, same way you would set the clock. First, you're going to press the power button. Then you're going to head over to Delay Brew, and you'll set the time you wish for it to go off in the morning. Now, keep in mind, this takes about 12 to 14 minutes to complete a full pot. So whatever time you set it for, just add that on. So if you set it, let's say, for 6.10 a.m., it's not going to finish to around probably 6.24, 6.25 at the very latest. That's number one. Number two, you have two brew options. You have classic and you have rich. If you select classic, it's just gonna give you a regular pot. Uh, if you select rich, it's gonna give you a more bold cup, but it also takes a little longer. I haven't timed the rich, so we're gonna do that today, but I know classic takes about maybe 12 to 14 minutes to finish a complete pot. So I wanna time rich. I have a funny feeling that's gonna take a little longer. So first, power button on, Head over to Delay Brew. We're gonna set the time for, let's just say six, let's just say it's for six, uh, 6, 10 a.m. And then we're gonna select Rich. Once it stops flashing, it's now set to go off at 6, 10 a.m. And while we're waiting for it to finish, let's say you don't want to deal with the clock or programmable timer, you just want to put the water in, 
put the coffee grounds in and start the unit, you would just select that brew button and it'll turn on right away. And here you'll notice a small batch feature up to four cups. If you do select that, when you put the water in, don't go past that four cup mark. If you put it all the way up to 12, it'll drain the whole thing and you'll get a wee cup of coffee. And stay warm, that's just the, um, that's the hot plate right here. If you don't want that on, you just select that off. But we're gonna leave that on because we want the um, plate to stay warm. So I figured that took 20 minutes. There it goes. Okay, so it does beep. Uh, that's something I forgot to do during testing. So, around 14 minutes if you select the classic brew setting and if you select the rich brew setting, around 20 minutes. Right, a little over 160. I guess that's okay. And we're just gonna add in a drop of milk. Best way to give you guys an idea of strength, just by adding the milk. And yeah, this does look like a bold cup. A little ground got in there, huh? But anyway, let's see how it tastes. Yeah, that is a little bit more bolder than the classic. I mean, I tested this a couple of days ago. But that is a nice rich cup. Yeah, one more. Yeah, that's a... A decent cup of coffee. The temperature is good too, 160. Hey, flip the lid, show you guys inside real quick. Yeah, so it doesn't make a mess. That's neat. Okay, guys, so that's the video. I hope it was interesting. I hope it was helpful for anyone who's um, considering on getting this unit or just comparing it to something else. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Do all that good stuff. That definitely helps the channel out. I thank you for watching up to this point, and I'll see you in my next one.